So let's use the swing mass to chart as tourist method to try and get a handle on what the upside might be. And the first thing we'll do is a, a digital filter. We'll use a Fourier analysis to try and determine what the uh, dominant cycles are. And we'll open up the QQQ, downloaded three years of it. Okay, we got a bump at about 32. And we'll highlight this center area here. And we have a bump here at about 78. So we'll use 78 as the period uh, for, the, uh, for the cycle. Okay, Hearst method, displaced moving averages. And we'll do 78. Okay, we get a red-green crossing. We'll use the time price projection method. We'll click on the projected intersection, slide back to the last intersection, and the intervening low. And we're getting a projection for the QQQ of about 81.50 or 81.53 to be exact on September 26th. Now, does that mean that the QQQ is going to go to 81.53 or, or a little higher, a little lower? No, but if it does on September 26th or certainly within a day or two, either side of that, we're going to be very interested in uh, looking for a trend change. Okay, that was a quick demonstration of using uh, Fourier analysis and the Hearst method to add some structure to a, a rally uh, to develop some expectations. I hope you found it useful.